Hi, everybody. Welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. My name is Jared. Take a look at this. This is from Into Thin Air. It is as if a bomb went off. So I'm sure you've already seen that downtown Houston got hit by a tornado. And uh, there's been a lot of damage. And this is kind of an unusual event. We're going to look at just how unusual it is. Um, but first, let's just take a look at some of these pictures and video. So you see uh, high rises that are missing windows uh, just all over the this the facade of this building right here. Um, here's another picture of it. And then down at street level, looking on the on the street, uh, there's just debris all over the place, which, you know, this is kind of crazy. It's it's uh, kind of apocalyptic looking, isn't it? You have a, a downtown and it, there's just all sorts of destruction and damage and stuff all over the place. Here's another one, uh, Giovanni Leggi or Leggi. A massive amount of damage in the middle of downtown, hashtag Houston, following this evening's storms. So there's that. Um, and then I always like it whenever this is used, you know, because I feel like, I feel like in their own way, uh, now I don't know anything about Colin Rugg, but in their own way, whether it's him or other news reporters, it's like when they use these words, he says, just in apocalyptic scenes out of Houston, Texas, it puts that idea in their minds. And then it puts that idea in the mind, in the minds of those that read their stories or their social media posts. You know, these are signs of the times. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put it all together because I feel like this is still connected to that first tornado that happened in, um, in Utah. I have, I, I'll if you missed that video, uh, there's a CNN article that talks about the fact that all these tornadoes that have been going on, and it's almost been, I don't know how many days in a row, but it, at this point, it's probably been close to three weeks where every single day there's been a tornado in the United States, except for one. So there's kind of like this streak going on, starting with Salt Lake, and now we have this that just hit hit Houston. And so he has kind of like a compilation of different videos around Houston and uh, you can see it was pretty bad. Let's see, you got this. Hashtag Houston, be prepared to be without power for a while. And I guess we all have to ask ourselves, would we be able to um, make it through, you know, a few hours, a few days, a couple weeks without power? Uh, this is something that we should all think about. I think it's ideal if you can to have a generator. Okay, so this is from Fox Weather. Houston Metro rocked by severe storms that left four dead and over one million without power. Now, this is from earlier today. Uh, let's go to poweroutage.us. And uh, right now, Louisiana has close to 100,000 uh, with 80,911. And then Texas has 45,210. So it's gotten a, a lot better since this story came out. Uh, but there have been some casualties and then a lot of damage. Uh, there's a video here uh, titled Rare MCS Storm System in Houston Thursday Explained. And uh, there wasn't anything too much, you know, to pull out of this to share with you. You can watch this. I'll put a link for it, link for it in the description box below. But um, they are calling it a rare MCS storm, uh, which I guess stands for Mesoscale Convective System. It's a group of thunderstorms that work together as a system. So uh, whatever happened, uh, I guess this was a somewhat rare event. Again, this is what it looked like. And this person is describing it as though a bomb had went off. Okay. Uh, so I wanted to look into, you know, how rare is it for tornadoes to hit major cities? Um this is from NBC News. It's rare for a tornado to hit a big city, but that may not always be the case. And then the reason why, it says, cities are small targets, said Victor uh, Gensini, a climatologist at Northern Illinois University in DeKalb. Uh, continuing, if you think of a dartboard, a dense urban area, area is really the double bullseye. It's very rare for a downtown metro business district to get hit. So it's not that it's impossible, but it's rare. It's just because uh, it, like a downtown business di district is a very small area, relatively speaking. There is this Wikipedia article, a uh, list of tornadoes striking downtown areas of large cities. And um, 
you know, it has a list here, places like St. Louis, Chicago, Kansas City, Washington, D.C., uh, Louisville, on and on and on. Uh, they do have Houston, so um, I don't know how comprehensive this list is, but uh, they do have Houston on here once back in November 16th of 1993. And then, of course, the famous Salt Lake City, Utah tornado that hit downtown and uh, touched Temple Square in the temple. August 11th, 1999, just a few months before the turn of the millennium. Uh, also, uh, just a, l- a little while before the dedication of the Palmyra New York Temple, which uh, I feel like that's all significant, like all these things taken together. So, <clears throat> but anyway, it's l- not like a huge list. Um, so there's definitely been other cities that have been hit. Uh, you have a few here, Tallahassee, as recently as, oh, uh, I guess just uh, like a, like, I'm not laughing at them, uh, just a little while ago, just like a week ago, May 10th of this year. I didn't know that. Did I know that? No, I don't think, I, I don't know. Tallahassee, Florida. Um, you have some like smaller uh, cities on here that you wouldn't typically think of as like a big city. So anyway, so, you know, so here you go. It is on the more uh, rare or uncommon side. And so now Houston is going to have two on this um, article. Okay, now I'm not going to go over the entire thing, but I did a video about how this all started with Utah. And um, I'll put a link for this in the description box below. So the first tornado of this series, and it is a tornado, according to the National Weather Service and NOAA, it is a tornado. It's a land spout tornado. The series of tornadoes started in the Salt Lake Valley with this tornado in Daybreak, uh, which is the development that has the Ochre, the Ochre Mountain, Utah Temple. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of pictures of it. You can look it up on X or whatever. But this is it right here, right? CNN, they did this article. The U.S. is in the middle of an exceptional tornado streak. Here's what it looks like. This was published on May 9th. And it says it started in Utah, of all places. A whirling tendril of air descended from a roiling sky above a southwest suburb of Salt Lake City, punctuating the horizon. It was a tornado, the first of many over the course of weeks. So I wanted to, you know, get an update on this. So this is when it all began. You can see these red dots represent uh, tornado reports. And so the first one uh, was this one in Utah. Here it is. Let's go the day before. You see, there's just absolutely nothing at all the day before. The day before that, uh, there's some wind reports and hail reports, but no tornadoes. So let's go back to the day of the Utah tornado. And uh, let's just look at each day up until today, May 17th. So here, you, you know, I'll count them. So we have one, two, three, four five, one here in Kansas, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, here's one in Arkansas, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, here's one in Florida, 17, 18, 19, 20, all right, 20, so 20 days in a row, every single day for 20 days, starting with Utah, there has been a tornado in the United States for 20 days in a row. And then there's a little break on the 16th, which was yesterday. And now today, here you have, um, here you have uh, Texas and Louisiana. So even though a day was skipped, I guess we'll have to see how the next few days play out in the, the coming weeks. Um, oh, look up here in Montana, right on the border with Canada. I didn't see that. So... This is, you guys, this is a sign. To me, this is a sign. I know it to many of you. It's a sign. It started with Utah. 
That's very weird. Um, it's happening in a very, very, very interesting year. I can't, I can't state enough how important I think it is that the Kirtland Temple came back into the church, that you had the path of totality of the eclipse go over the Kirtland Temple the month after it was purchased. And then uh, in the month of the eclipse, you had this uh, tornado outbreak that went for 20 days in a row. And like, there's still kind of like this streak going, you just have like a one day interruption. And then on top of that, you have the auroras or the aurora that was seen in pretty much the entire United States and, you know, pretty far South. Check out my Facebook page for pictures. I have uh, a few uh, pictures of temples with the aurora above them. Um, I'm going to try and get, I, I have some more that I'm going to be posting. So follow me on Facebook, but, uh, you guys, we better pay attention to these things. Something is happening. This is crazy. And so this is the most recent chapter in this, uh, in this episode of, um, tornado outbreaks. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for this one. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. If you liked it, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.